All right, we're doing a review of the Sprint Epic 4G GPS. Um, we're going to compare it to the AT&T Captivate on top here and see how fast it takes them, or how slow it takes them to lock on. Um, as you can see, as you can see, the Epic 4G GPS did in fact already lock on, and the Captivate is still searching for GPS. Uh, this is just a little bit of proof that the Epic 4G GPS has been worked on and is significantly better than the other Galaxy S devices. Now, if you'll notice, there's still a big circle around my navigation icon showing that, yeah, the GPS knows where I am, but not exactly where I am. Um, this is a problem because it's it shows that the accuracy is not quite perfect and um, this could possibly lead to um, navigation errors when you're on a road parallel to another road um, so that's something to be worried about the navigation is not quite as accurate still um, in comparison to other phones like the uh, my touch 3g or the g1 um, but the navigation is more than adequate and I've actually used it to navigate to and from um, the store and friends houses and it's worked pretty well.